Hi everyone and welcome. Thanks for being here today with me on Storytime 365. My name is Barbara and pretty soon we'll be saying goodbye to winter and hello to spring. Because of this, today's story is called Goodbye Winter, Hello Spring. Did you know that the following natural events occur in the spring? The Earth's axis starts to tilt towards the sun. The days get longer, snow begins to melt, plants begin to grow, and flowers bloom, and animals come out of hibernation. Today's story has been written and illustrated by Kazuo Iwamura. Goodbye winter, hello spring. What will warmer weather bring? Mick woke up and said, oh no, what happened to the pretty snow? Their father said with a sigh, the snow returns to the sky. The children saw the clouds up high. Look, the snow's back in the sky. Molly said, I hear dripping over there. Come and see, it's everywhere. Her brothers asked, What's that sound? Little streams, they're all around. Not long after, it became quite clear. The snow was beginning to disappear. As Mick and Mac and Molly looked, it turned into a babbling brook. They shouted, I wonder where the water goes. Into a stream, whoosh, it flows. And in the water, what did they see? The floating trunk of a fallen tree. Mac jumped on and said, come quick. Wait for me, shouted brother Mick. Molly said, suppose we fall, but onto the log, she carefully crawled. Tap, tip, tap, tur, came the snow melted water. It sang as it joined into one stream. A nightingale's voice trembled like a dream. The three of them on their tree trunk boat, merrily away, began to float. But after a while, they began to think, what if our floating log should sink? The water gushed into the river. The sight and the sound made all three shiver. The melting snow down it poured. How they wished They'd stayed indoors. They held on tight, their log it snaked out into a great big lake. Some kindly ducks came swimming by. Help, help, the little squirrels cried. Each duck took one of them on its back. We'll get you safely home, they said. Quack, quack. With duck feathers softer than the tree, the siblings sat quite comfortably. Over the water those ducks did glide. They couldn't have had a smoother ride. Where does the melted snow go, asked the three. The ducks said, to a river and then to the sea. In spring, the snow goes back into the earth and the sea and the sky. It's a time of rebirth. We ducks too will go back north. Every year we gather to fly back and forth. Then it was time for the ducks to depart. Thank you, dear ducks, the kids said from the heart. Let's meet here next fall, said the ducks flying high, and soon they disappeared into the blue sky. Our dear ducks are like snow, Mick said with a sigh. When the spring comes, they return to the sky. Their mom and dad said, where did you go? We thought you got lost in the melting snow. Mom, Dad, did you know the water in this pond is melted snow? It runs farther and farther and out to the sea. Then it goes back to the sky to be snow again, see? Their parents laughed and said, that's right. Our three kids are brave and bright. Now who's hungry? Me, me, me. We brought acorns from our tree. Let's have a picnic, then we'll sing. Goodbye winter, hello spring.
Thank you for joining me for today's story. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe. And if you're looking for us elsewhere, you can also find us on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Patreon. I hope to see you all again very soon for another fun story. I look forward to that time. Bye for now.